when I was a little down, twenty one, and then I I get up and, and really went on a stretch with those three. Mm -hmm. What you feel like happened after that? I also made some changes to pain and all out. What do you feel like for that? To I, you know what, man? It, it, it's one of those games um, where you just have to stay with it and live with the results. I, I was just proud of the fact that we didn't give in. I think we were down 17 at half, uh, 22 maybe in the third, and then I think 15 in the fourth after Wood um, hit a few shots. Um, Book was really good in the huddles. Even when we were down 15, He, I heard, I didn't see it, but I heard he got the guys together and told them, like, this is nothing, but we got to stay here. And we've been talking about that all the training camp. Like, how can we deal with – the emotional ups and downs of the game. I thought that helped us win the game tonight. We just stayed with it. I mean, obviously, you know, Book has uh, 28. DA was amazing uh, in the second half because he, was, he wasn't in foul trouble. Uh, he did pick up his fourth, but he was able to stay out of the, the foul trouble that he had in the first half. But then Damian comes in and just makes plays. And I thought Mikhail's timely deflections and rebounds offensively really helped us too but it's just one of those emotional games where you try to stay as steady as you can uh, when the waves of you know threes or when Luca's making plays it, it can deflate you a little bit I thought I got our guys did a pretty good job of staying with it tonight what made you go with that like six minutes in the range that well that's normally where I take them out anyway so I usually give them a three minute break and then I bring them in to close. Um, that, that's been the rotation for us. But Cam came in, we had like a a good rhythm. Um, and I just felt like it was the move to just stay with Cam, you know. Um, and Chris was engaged and telling guys, you know, it was almost like he was out there. But it was really his time to come out. I try to get him out around the 7-6 and give him a, about three minutes rest and then have him come in and close. Cam did such a good job uh, with that group. That group as a whole is pretty good on both ends, and so I just rolled with it. Cam Johnson, yeah, he just had a cramp. Um, he was cramping up. No, nah, it was his leg, I think. Um, so I think he's fine. Uh, I'm grateful for that because I didn't know what it was, and then they told me that he was cramping. What does it say about Damian? Three points quarters, and then they hit shots like that before. I just think guys who've been in those situations, who, who've been in those environments, um, like he was in in Golden State, like not much phases a guy like that. Um, if it does phase him, he knows how to deal with it. And he's been around guys who've you know, walked through those situations before. I think that rubs off on you. And, um, you know, his ability to bounce back after he gave up the and one that tied the game to be able to come back and, you know, the willingness to take that shot and let alone make it says a lot about who he is. But I just feel like guys who've been in those environments, who've been in those practices, who, you know, who've been in those those games, they they handle those situations a lot better than guys who haven't. The, uh, amount of pick and roll that you both in running Yeah. wanted to see more, or they just figured that out as they were? No, it was just with the game showed us um, both teams were, I mean, if you charted how many defenses we changed tonight, I bet both teams were all over the board from zone to switching to blitzes. I mean, they were doing everything and we were, and we just, <clears throat> you know, we read the game. That's what the game was showing us. They were blitzing book and we were able to be productive on the backside. Um, I thought a huge play was DA getting it in the, in his little midi area and he was converting because um, we told him to stop and make the pass on the backside. I don't think he saw the blitz, so Book just threw it and he caught it and was able to finish, but that was what the game showed us and we just kind of flowed with that. Do you expect going into the season or into this game that Chris not playing in those moments was something that might happen? Because it is pretty impressive. No, I had no, I'm always open-minded. Um, in those situations. And I think, you know, as much as you want to have Chris out there, I know Chris wants to win. Um, but when I took him out, my plan was to get him back in at three. But then the game was 
going in a good way. And Cam was playing well, so I didn't want to take him out. So it wasn't – I didn't think it was that big of a decision, but I guess it is because it's Chris. <laughs> is it nice to get Payne's confidence maybe up a little bit after he kind of fell out of playoff rotation at the end? Like yeah, I think for all – everybody. Um, make no mistake, today was an emotional day. I mean, maybe not for them because they went on to the Western Conference Finals, but the NBA, you know, they scheduled them on the first night. So you can imagine the buildup for <laughs> the practices and uh, the amount of information we threw at the guys about this game. Um, and so I think it, for everybody to be able to mentally and emotionally stay with it was huge for us. Morning after the traps for Devin were such a problem for him in the postseason last year. How did you like his ability to make that quick hit to DeAndre and DeAndre? Yeah, I mean it's it's something that um, we work on for sure, but they have to execute it. Um, we'll give them structure, and then a lot of times they'll go out there and talk about the angle of the screen, where he needs to be in the pocket. Uh, it certainly doesn't work if you don't have guys who can make plays on the backside. But DAs become really good in the pocket. He's under control. Sometimes you'll watch him jump stop and make a pass to the weak side. Sometimes he'll convert. Um, and then it, it it's hard to make those passes. Um, Book sees double teams almost every single night. So that doesn't make it easy. But I think those two have a bit of a rhythm in that environment. You acknowledge the emotion of the big game, this particular matchup. To win in this fashion, what does that do for your team well, I mean, we, we have a bunch of bets on our team, so I'm sure we'll be able to turn the page, but they should enjoy it. I mean, we got a few hours to enjoy it, and then, you know, tomorrow we'll turn the page and get ready for the next game. But um, I think anytime you you win in the NBA, it's, it's cool. But, you know, to beat the team that knocked you out, you know, it doesn't erase that feeling and that hurt, but it does help you grow the next season. No, oh, man, I was I felt so bad for those guys. I really did. I had Dario in, Josh in and out, Biz in and out. Um, I was all over the place with the rotations. And sometimes that happens because you're you're just trying to find a combination that will help you gain some momentum. Um, but I also understand what that feels like as a player because I, I was in that situation before. So I felt bad um, for those guys because they weren't able to get out there and, and play um, in what players would call a rhythm. But we were just trying to win the game and just searching for any type of combination that would give us some momentum. Yeah. So, I mean, his effort and Kevin Young's just persistence that we go to the offensive boards. I mean, he's been driving me nuts with that for two years. And uh, Mikhail, that's right up his alley. I think he and Tori um, are the best at our team outside of DA. DA does it naturally, but it's really cool because he's guarding top guy every night and then he's got to slash and cut and you know shoot threes so to expend that kind of energy says a lot about his conditioning but his mental fortitude that, that that's a heavy load we put a lot on his shoulders but he carried it tonight I mean, we're down 17 so I'm sure my cheeks were puckered a little bit. I mean, it's it's not a comfortable situation, you know, but that happens in the NBA. Um, concern about the score, but more concerned with how we were playing. We were making so many mistakes on defense. We had the wrong guys rotating. Uh, Luca was stretching us out. We weren't blitzing him tonight, but it looked like it allowed him to stretch us out, and that made our rotations really long. So that was my concern. My concern was the defense. And then offensively, I just thought we, we just didn't have a rhythm at all. And then in the second half, we I think we had 62 points. So that alleviated some of the concern. But for the most part, if I did have any, it was just the mistakes on defense. Yeah, he did. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know, I, I don't know. I don't want to speculate about it, but he was typically I can tell when he, he's got to come out. Um, I've done that where you turn it a little bit and it's achy, but you can still play. And then you take your shoe off, like you said, and you just want to get treatment on it right away because it could be stiff the next day. And so I would imagine he's going to have some achiness and stiffness. But he he looked me in the eyes like, Coach, I'm good. And when you see him running up and down the floor, you know, the way that he was, you, you have a, a bit more confidence. Yep.